Warm an oven to around 43 degrees Celsius. Place the array block on a glass slide face down. It doesn't matter if it's a charged or non-charged slide. Some people like to leave their array blocks in the oven overnight to soften and set the punches. But we have found two to four hours works just fine for us. You may want to test this for yourself because some tissues might need more setting time. Now you'll need to remove the paraffin block and slide from the oven, but don't separate them yet. You will need to heat up another slide around 70 to 80 degrees Celsius by itself. I'll explain why in a moment. Since I only have one oven, the array mold block still needs to stay warm and soft while this single slide heats up. I'm placing my array block on the side of my water bath. It's warm enough to keep the block soft while the single slide is heating up. Don't put your array block too close to the glass dish. This area is extremely hot and it will definitely melt your block. Please test this procedure with a blank paraffin block and a slide if you're going to use this technique. Make sure it works for you. Carefully remove the hot slide from the oven and place it on top of the slide that's stuck to your array block. You will see the surface of the array block paraffin liquefy. The two slides will also be able to move around together now. This sets the surface of the array block and also gets rid of any air pockets. Once liquefied, quickly remove the hot slide and flip the array block and the slide over on the countertop to cool at room temperature. Once at room temperature, place them together on a cold plate or ice tray for at least 15 more minutes to cool. Now the slide should come away easy from the paraffin block. Trim your edges and you're ready to cut. I'm not going to cover cutting procedures because there are as many techniques as there are histologists. First trim into your array block so the surface is flat. If your microtome chuck is at a different angle than your array block, you may want to adjust the chuck so it's flat against the block. You don't want to cut away valuable tissues facing into your array block. Once you have trimmed into the block, put the block back on an ice tray and move the blade to a new area or change the blade. You can see in the tissue ribbon that some of the punch cores are missing. Actually, they have curled. This is common when cutting an array block. When you lay the ribbon on the water bath, they usually flatten out. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video will help you with your TMA construction. And thanks also for choosing the array mold.